Hello everyone, this is Nitin here. Uh, I hope you are doing great and uh, your watercolor going way, way forward and, uh, and you are improving with your watercolor journey, right? So I'm, I, I welcome you to this particular class where uh, we will be learning what is the fundamental of making a loose watercolor, right? <laughs> so many people are basically talking about uh, how to make the loose water what uh, loose watercolor like uh, how to approach that what is the basic fundamental of that right so we will be learning in this particular class and i'm sure that uh, after this uh, you will have an, uh, some bit of understanding how to approach the making your painting a little loose right so this is the process there are some fundamental basic which you will have to uh, learn right so let's uh, let's jump into it and uh, before starting this I would request you to please subscribe my channel and uh, please black uh, click on the bell icon so you will get a notification and this is important for you right <laughs> so please don't miss that please subscribe my channel right and uh, I upload my video in a regular basis every week so please check that especially on Wednesday or Thursday is the time when I upload my videos so please check that don't miss that all right so now let's look at the basic thing so the basic thing is as i told many times we will be working on sketch so this is the one of the integral part when you are actually uh, learning watercolor and i have just taken this particular reference it's this a simple a one uh, one instance of this from this entire uh, photograph I have just taken this particular subject this dome which we will be learning and how to go about it how to make this more loose so that that makes more sense right instead of working this entire painting let's focus on one single element so we'll have we'll get to know on how it exactly works right so let's uh, jump into this so what I'll do is I'll just make uh, this uh, particular uh, dome here and on top of it this the this the dome and when you do the sketching don't worry about the detail part of it and most of the time I'm just telling keep repeating this you just focus on uh, the overall composition and if you just wanted to learn just spend a little little bit of time on uh, uh, on sketching because that's also important right so this is the starting point where you want to make your painting loose right and there is some if you look at uh, uh, the subject so there are some architecture there's a beautiful architecture here so those things but we are not capturing each and everything we are just making things more like a uh, impression it's just in a directional view of it so make sure that everything should be in aligned and uh, there is a few thing few elements like uh, this is the one side of it this is the second side of it and uh, that's a middle one right and there is there is basically a uh, few entrance it's a beautiful entrance the architecture it's a beautiful thing uh, so that actually you are capturing in this one right this is the one this is the one so this is what we have and there are some other architecture things possibly there to which we which we don't want to give on a more emphasize on it we just wanted to make things uh, uh, a little uh, just a bit of thing so our our uh, our our fo focus is working on this and how we can make it a, a little more loose sort of thing right there is another dome here that we can just make it like this right so this is this is what we have this is the sketch we have right creating such kind of a sketch is not a uh, it's not a you know uh, easy for you I mean that's the basically uh, of course <laughs> I'm not denying that you will you should not uh, I mean anybody can draw something like that but at least uh, practicing something like this drawing something a uh, small bit of uh, elements will really I mean, improve you and uh, sketching is something like it's really important I'm just telling you don't ignore that all right so now we have this sketch ready 
and uh, now we'll go for very first layer so we'll completing in a two or three layer this entire thing and i'll tell you how to make this the basic rule of making the loose watercolor right so let's jump into the coloring part of it so i'm just taking this brush and i hope you are able to see my color palette okay so what i'm doing is i'm taking this green color which is uh, uh, sap green so that's my first color here and uh, there's a lot of water you have you have to use a lot of water color water here uh, because uh, your paper is going to observe a lot of color here or water in a first layer so now this is the the very first layer very first layer and uh, now I see I'm just making this the in the most important part is what what uh, you have to think uh, or you'll have to apply is that when you're painting a loose watercolor so understand the basic of you uh, you know loose watercolor loose watercolor means it's a free flow it's a, it's a unique by its uh, own character means there is a nothing uh, you know something very much uh, thoughtful work it's just you know, a random uh, patches all over the place you will see beautiful sometimes bold beautiful patches and all right so that approach I'm going to teach you here right so we are done here and now uh, we have the the bottom part of it so how we'll do it we'll just take this uh, ultramarine blue uh, and mixing with uh, burnt sienna a little bit of it and just apply it here don't worry if things are getting merged with each other that's the beauty of watercolor right and you need to adopt that so uh, this is the one and it, it's getting merged here don't worry about if things are getting I mean a lot of people think like oh my god this is again it's becoming green right so just put a little bit of <laughs> little bit of uh, uh, burn sienna so now it's become uh, a little it got some character here right so <laughs> that kind of things keep coming uh, uh, especially when you when you do such kind of uh, work so that's okay uh, so now here we have these sort of when we are going down we have to make this the other wall of this this will continue and when you're coming down here I mean if you wanted to make it a little more darker you can of course you can just do that and uh, when you do this make a little darker here so things will get more interesting uh, and you'll see some variation on top of it right now these are the variation I was talking about so we are we are working on a first layer so be be agile I mean basically I mean you really don't don't spend thinking anything much just enjoy the process just enjoy the way you wanted to put your color here apply those color etc etc and uh, the whole, the whole idea the basic idea I was talking I'm talking about here is how to enjoy this process rather than just uh, you are basically <laughs> thinking lot as lot many aspect of oh my god I'm how I'll just do this how I'll do this how it will work and etc etc just don't think about it just that so this is your first layer we have done with our first layer let it dry and then we'll come back and work on a second first layer sorry <laughs> second layer <laughs> all right so now you see our first layer is dry and this is the time when your magic starts <laughs> your basically the uh, the loose the patches that get starts but before that you have to make very much sure that uh, the light uh, which is the source of the light I mean the which source uh, which side 
uh, the light is actually falling let's take example of uh, in our case basically the light is coming from this side the source of the light is coming from that side this from this side and this will be like on a more like a lighter and this will be a more depth darker so or else you can just see look at the reference photo or whatever it is that you'll have to decide it right so we need we need to work in that way so probably we can just think about the source's light is coming from this side okay so as per uh, the reference image so what i'll do is the very first thing what what you have to do is you need to take on a very bold you have to say yourself okay the first thing very fundamental thing what you need to say to yourself is that the whatever i'm going to do now is going to be more like a, my craziest thing and i'm going to enjoy this very first thing lose watercolor this is the fundamental rather than the technique or tips or anything that will never work until uh, unless you will not tell yourself that this is the work i'm going to do and eventually i will be messed up <laughs> i'm going to mess up everything that's the fundamental that's the basic rule as much as i i experience this medium the moment you will not adapt i mean you'll not accept this that you will not this is you this is you are going to mess this up completely you will not do anything you will be absolutely you know in a very much precise uh, uh, you know the patches and everything will be a full of scared and a lot of thought pull around that so don't do that right so what is the approach what we should have is now i'm just taking this color and uh, this side i just wanted to make this all right so now i have this bit board yes this now this is the one now i have taken this water a lot of water in my brush and i just pour it here and just put it here something like this and most of the things light are coming from here so i just don't want to do anything here that's all this is what you need to do as a practice some bit of depth here and there definitely you can you can work around like uh, like this like this somewhere wherever it is possible you can just make that uh, little depth here and there uh, we haven't worked on the top so let's work on that uh, the upper part of this right and uh, something like this i hope you are able to see my screen i don't know what's going on by <laughs> so, so that happens many times uh yeah so this this is what we uh, we have here right is there any confusion <laughs> no <laughs> all right so let's put a little more depth here that's the beauty way, beautiful way to uh, bring the depthness uh, wherever you need right and there is actually entrance etc etc i mean so a lot of things you can do it when this get dry stuff like that so that you can just do it but for now i mean this is fine we are we are absolutely fine and uh, there is a outline also we'll work on later part of this thing now this is done now come back to here this down one now here the same approach i have just taken a bunsiana and uh, uh, ultramarine blue and i'm just telling you again you need to be very much confident with your stroke doesn't matter even if you are a beginner but you should tell yourself okay i'm going to enjoy this medium i'm going to enjoy this medium rather than being scared oh my god i don't want to do this i will get scared i can't take the step etc etc please do that don't do that let it enjoy the medium that's the basic fundamental enjoy this medium if you'll get scared and you will feel like oh okay uh, i can't take this i can't do this etc etc things will not be okay and you will never get it watercolor so what i'm doing here is just some patches here and there just playing around with those patches some uh, uh, i mean uh, some bit of uh, the architectural values are there so just wanted to capture here a little depth here and there and and that's all and i see like on you know, some of the bit the my first layer is visible and all that right so that that you can that you can just captured here in this right uh, the same thing here it goes like this 
like this and uh, whatever I mean if there is anything so so far so good now come back here now we have to paint the bottom part of it so what I'll do is I have taken this color the little lighter than I um, mean little lighter I mean it's not like a pure dark little lighter and I just do take an issue from your bang that's all okay here one go two go three go whatever blah 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 <laughs> so uh, that's the approach that's the approach we need to have and now you see there is an actual light is coming here that definitely these are the these are the uh, the ceilings and all and uh, there should be light has to follow right it has to be there has to be on you know, a some bit of uh, the uh, seeds of uh, this entire uh, structure has to fall in right so how you will do that let's work on this and this is this is interesting this is interesting so once you do this once suppose you have done all of these and uh, some architectural and all and I have to make this bold patches yo 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 girl yes 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 this is it I have given my all these uh, the the seeds are falling here with a different different parameter I mean, just don't th think about anything what's wrong what's bad what if that just leave everything aside okay and now what I'll do is I will take this one and uh, now remember we had uh, this uh, 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 what is called uh, this entrance of this building right so now let's work on that so what I'm doing is it's mostly like it's a weight but still I just wanted to put here so that's the entrance of it that's the one one is this should be a little darker Make sure that there should be less water in your brush and more uh, color so you'll get that and there is another one and uh, that's the entrance and that's the last one here which is other side of it and another one is this once you do this now let's move into the little bit of a detailing here detailing in the sense I mean whenever I say detailing just don't take it literally that I'm going to make it <laughs> literally because I hate detail <laughs> I don't want I don't want detail part of it uh, and detail is something like uh, I mean I'm 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 really not uh, uh, kind of uh, approach I want to take it because uh, I mean everybody has some some sort of their opinion on that but uh, this is not something I just want so this is what it is and uh, now you see there is these things are came up right now how you want to make this is you can put some depth and some bit of extra color right so that will bring us some interesting color some interesting depth here and there so that creates some some interesting uh, uh, color and you will see there's a there's a lot of color basically it is coming here and then you should also have an, uh, some some color in your in your in your painting right and that's the beautiful way to approach that right so now when I'm when I'm moving down here I'm just putting a lot of depth here because of this is way uh, this is how I want and let's assume that this is the another one right the small little cute dome here and we just wanted to make the same thing here the the structure etc right and uh, that's the entrance let's assume just assume <laughs> that uh, so far what I'm doing is I'm just enjoying I have no clue where my paintings are going and I really don't care about that 
honestly i <laughs> i really don't care about how and how my paintings will look like or how it will come at the end i really don't care i'm just trying to enjoy this medium i just wanted to enjoy the how the overall things are coming up here etc etc et right that's that's my that's my goal right so now this one you have seen that uh, uh, you know uh, these this one and this one and now we have this entire structure the the seed has to fall here right further so now let's take this color a little bit of this one and uh, we can further we can further make this and just remember that i'm just when when i'm doing this i'm actually changing the color also right so now you see like i'm just taking this uh, uh, ultramarine blue as a source of the the depth and mixing a little bit of burn sienna right now as now you just see like uh, there is a depth right so this is a fundamental understanding right? when you're coming here of course the whatever the elements here that seed i mean their seed has to fall into this right that's a fundamental understand that's a basic understanding right so now let's make this so what i'm doing is i'm just making those like this and uh, if there is anything anything any other extra elements that will fall here into this right so everything is basically falling here in this one i hope you are getting i hope <laughs> i hope you are you are you are you are getting what i'm just trying to explain here uh right so that's the that's the thing and uh, maybe some patches here and there just something like this there might be in you know, some other some windows etc etc might be whatever it is right so those things you can just bring in here but we are still not clear here we are still not happy with uh, whatever it is here so why it is because it has to be a little more interesting depth has to be here right so i'm just giving a little bit of working on the depth Pro probably i mean we'll we'll put a little more depth here when once uh, this will get dry so that would be a that that weight is important don't be in a in a, in a so much of hurry that okay i want to complete this and i want to do this do this uh, so there are some fundamental uh, patience is <laughs> also required let it dry so drying the things is uh, really important so let it dry and uh, once it get dry then uh, we'll complete our this entire thing uh, you know in a third layer let it dry calm now you relax okay now you see everything is dried and this is the time when we do our final layer so how to go about it i the same method i'm uh, to start from here so i'm just taking i just want to take a little darker version of this entire thing and uh, some some bit of uh, uh, you know patches here and there uh, that is uh, very much required uh, so need to be a little peasants here uh, one and there is a two and a three and four whatever it is so that's the thing and you can just put up some patches wherever you feel I mean again the same thing here 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 whatever so that is something you can make that i really hate doing what i'm just doing right now just patience and carefully doing something <laughs> but uh, yeah i mean sometimes it is required so to be honest so uh, there is a lot of water now what what we'll do is uh, we will most of the time we will be working on the depth mostly the depth 
So one is going here, just kind of a dry, uh, dry stuff. Um, so one is that and wherever it is required. So there is some architectural elements which we need to bring in here in this particular building. So that exactly we need to do some justification of that. Um, like that all right and now uh, some patches which very much required patches in the sense some some outlines to represent its uh, values its uh, architectural values and all that that we need to bring in here you got it or oh, I hope uh, you are following me what I want to say there are a lot of things which you will miss, but that's okay, <laughs> right? Because, because we are just trying to uh, give an impression of this uh, uh, of this building. Uh, by the way, it's a very beautiful place, uh, but I don't know what is this, what is the name of this? What I mean is the place is this particular building, or I don't know what it is. Uh, let me know in your comment what exactly it is. And by the way, I mean, one more thing, uh, if you wanted to learn more about watercolor, right, you wanted to grow and you really passionate about watercolor, you wanted to learn something, then uh, you need to check my Patreon page and get a membership. So you will see a lot of amazing things coming into way, your way, which will help you to learn and paint watercolor, uh, you know, in a, in a different level. So. I would I would request you to check that too so that will that will really helpful uh, you know and and, and and this is the way you can support me also to create some something like this some some content like this for you all the time right so that's the that's the request I have <laughs> all right so uh, now you see like uh, I have uh, done this uh, all of uh, all of these uh, detailing a little bit of uh, thing here and there just tiny tiny bits of bits and bits and pieces here and there which is where it's required um, and since we are this is how basically the the basic fundamental I was talking about and above everything what is really important is the way you are actually approaching watercolor in a sense that uh, uh, how free you are what is the kind of a freedom you have set yourself for this particular uh, particular piece uh, you, are, you are actually making and uh, there's no expectation don't set any expectation as I'm telling in most of my videos that the setting an expectation is something will never allow you to do anything so make sure that uh, whenever you are making any artwork something like this you wanted to paint so don't have any expectation work without expectation just think about uh, you are going to just enjoy this medium you are just going to enjoy the the process of uh, creating something like this so that will bring a lot of a uh, uh, lot of courage for you to take a decision on that right so that's that and that's that's the beautiful way to approach watercolor right so now you see like uh, i'm just uh, trying to make a uh, bring a variation into the painting i mean simple bold big bold beautiful patch so on top of it i mean not everywhere it is required but wherever you feel is something you you do need to take it uh, so that you can just do it but mostly we are talk we are actually doing things which is uh, uh, which makes your painting uh, more like a full confident stokes that's the that's the approach we have here so make sure that uh, you should enjoy the process enjoy the process rather than rather than anything else right so that's the that's the approach we have and we should have and uh, i hope you got it what i what what i wanted to uh, what i wanted to communicate with you um, if you wanted to bring us a little more uh level of depthness that that you can just bring in here there are several things several elements which comes in here and all that 
that you can just definitely work on and do be crazy i mean <laughs> that's the that's the most important be crazy i mean you do something like this and you will see like a, oh something you really get some interesting and that builds up your confidence is mostly about the building your confidence that's all i mean everything is secondary it's becoming it's making your making you as a you know uh, the confident about the handling the water handling the brush and etc etc whatever you call it that's that's the the whole set of goal here which i wanted to communicate so all right so i just <laughs> wanted to give up here <laughs> give up in the sense i mean <laughs> don't take me in that way uh, give up in the sense i'm saying all right this is what this is my enjoyment this is how i i enjoy my watercolor and uh, i've enjoyed enough <laughs> right so thank you so much everyone don't forget to visit my website and check my patreon page support me get a membership and you will see a lot many things are coming up for you i mean this is just an example for you but if you wanted to learn and uh, see some interesting things happening and you are really passionate about to learn something and you really want to uh, you know support me to create something like then please uh, check my patreon link i have given in my video description and uh, you will see amazing things so till then goodbye and uh, have a nice uh, day or night or wherever you are and keep painting don't dis demotivate because i've seen that many people are demotivating and <laughs> don't want to do this do something crazy thing and throw it <laughs> and then do it something and throw it that's the way the approach you should you should have especially for the watercolor watercolor is is such a such a lovely medium and i'm sure you will enjoy i mean once you'll get the the real flavor of watercolor i'm sure you're going to enjoy that the only thing is the consistently you have to practice without any expectation all right so thank you so much uh, watching this tutorial i'll be coming with a new video very soon till then take care and bye bye